at one point he said he's just going to give it all up, get rid of <laughs> all this foolishness of, of acting. Yeah. Were you were you scared when you heard that? No, I don't think I don't believe him. <laughs> I don't think he'll ever give it up because it would be crazy to give it up. It's what he was born to do, and he, he you know, he's a person who's very smart and talented in a, other ways. He's a good writer. He's a intelligent guy. He's a thinker. He's a good speaker. But this is. Clearly, what he was put here to do is be an actor, so he will never stop. And a committed political activist. Correct? Sure, but mostly an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's here. We have to go to work now, Morley. <laughs> I'm sorry. More Get your hands off me. <laughs> I think you're great. Does he do a lot of that touchy? Does okay, he do a lot of that touchy feely stuff? I only have physical contact with him if I'm hitting him. <laughs> Let me pretend I'm a 60 Minutes correspondent, <laughs> which is my dream. You know what he wants to do? I want him to go to Italy and stay there <laughs> and paint <laughs> so I can do his job. This is the reason why I have a job. You would hate this job. Why? Because mostly when you're interviewing people, with two exceptions, of course, they're lying to you. Are they really? Yeah. I don't think you could deal with that. Did she tell you how talented I am? She said you were okay. Yeah. So how was this interview different than oh, any other interview? Yeah, she thought you were okay for an actor. <clears throat>